And I look particularly tonight at the Cape York schools. And about four years ago, I said to Noel Pearson when I met him, Noel, what you're doing sounds great, but you sound like everybody else. You've got a program and you want everyone to use it. Where's the evidence of the impact on your kids? He said, well, it's tough. I said, well, that's your business. And he said, we've tried this and we've tried this. And I foolishly said to him, Noel, send me your data. He did. This is the story, guys. There's four schools up there. Yes, they use a particular model of teaching that a lot, a lot of people like, but does it work? They're gaining three times more than the rest of Australia in reading and numeracy and two times more in writing. What an incredible success story. And when you read the debate in the newspapers over the last few weeks about it not working, you've got to say, well, what's not working? Here's the not so good news. No, if your kids are going to catch up, they're going to have to do four or five times the rate of the rest of Australia. So he's not there yet, and he knows that. And he's putting in other kinds of programs to speed up that. But the other point I want to make is we can teach those kids extremely well. Postcode, remote, is not necessarily the problem. It is having that constant focus on the impact that you're having on your kids. And I think that's pretty impressive, and I do not understand why often many of the same people who are offering similar kinds of programs, not with the same name, in the similar areas, are throwing bows and arrows at Noel and his group, where <coughs> the politics in that area I know is really incredible. But again, isn't it interesting? Evidence may not win, and evidence should win. I'm impressed.